In this video, I will demonstrate how to use an education data set to demonstrate Power BI. Let's get started. The first step is to obtain a copy of the college enrollment Excel file. Once it's obtained, open the file. When the file is open, you will find two tabs. The first tab is an enrollment versus drops. On this tab is a Power View report that contains a couple of items. At the top, there is a tile that allows you to filter between semester, and on the design surface, there's a card, a bar chart, and a graph. Over to the right is a slicer that allows you to filter by class. You can select any, any semester in the corresponding class, and you'll notice how the map automatically updates. If we select kinesiology, we can quickly see that the enrollment is a little lower, but if we go to the freshman seminar, we can quickly see that there's a large number of students enrolled in that course. And then in the filter sections, you can add some filters if you desire. Once you've configured the chart to have a view that you like, you can save the chart to your Power BI site in one of two ways. You can choose File, Save As, and Publish out to your SharePoint site, or you can go to your My Site, which Microsoft provides. If you're a partner, you'll need to go to a, an Office 365 tenant that has Power BI enabled. With Power BI enabled, you select the Power BI item from the navigation list and your Power BI site will open. Scroll towards the bottom and locate the icon labeled Add. Click it and a little dialog box will open, giving you a choice to create a folder or upload a file. Choose Upload File. The Add Document dialog box will open. Click Browse and browse to the location where you have saved the workbook. Select the workbook, click Open, and click OK. Once done, the workbook will appear in the list of available choices. Before working with the workbook, there's a couple of things you need to enable. First, select the little ellipsis located to the right and choose Favorite. Choose Add to Feature Reports and Add to Q&A. By choosing Favorites, it will make the report appear on your My Power BI site. By selecting Feature Reports, it ensures that the report appears at the top of your Power BI site. Finally, by adding it to Q&A, allows you to do natural language searches using our new Q&A feature in Power BI. Before we ask a question using Q&A, let's go ahead and get these items enabled. I'm going to favorite the report. I'm going to add it to Feature Reports. And we're going to add it to Q&A. Now, if we scroll to the top, you'll notice that the report appears in your feature reports. If I choose my Power BI, it's on my favorites list in my Power BI site. Before we use the new Q&A feature, let's take a quick look at the report directly inside of Power BI. You will notice a star in the top right-hand corner, which denotes that the report is a favorite. To view the report, simply click it. Once the report is rendered, you will have all the capabilities that you had inside of Excel. Feel free to filter any of the items or select different semesters from the tile feature. Now, let's take a look at this new Q&A feature. Back on your Power BI site, in the top right corner, select Search with Power BI Q&A. You will be redirected to the Q&A feature of Power BI. To demonstrate this feature using our model, enter Show Enrolled in the text box, and you will receive a value. To show a different view of this data, type by gender, which will give you a bar chart. And this shows a breakdown of the number of students enrolled by gender. If you want to modify this, simply hover over the chart. In the top right hand corner, you will see two icons. Select the show field list icon, and now directly inside of a web browser, you can view your own report. But for now, let's continue our search. Not only am I interested in showing enrollment by gender, but also showing it overlaid on the map. To do that, simply type by student state. And Power Q&A recognizes that I included a geospatial data type. As a result, it overlays the values on the map. If you like this query, and instead of retyping it over and over again, on the far right of the web page, click the arrow labeled about this and add this as a featured question. So I'm going to call so I'm going to call this enrollment by gender and state. 
Power Q&A checks to make sure that name is available. Check the box so we'll show this on our home page. You can choose the tile size. I like this one. You can choose a background image and click save. When we return to our Power BI site, we will see that featured question in the available list of featured questions. Thanks for watching.